let me ask you about your philanthropy for a moment. Uh, you and your husband helped to uh, create the High Line. Well, when I started the company again in, when was I came here? 97. Uh, in, I said, why am I renting those expensive offices uptown? Let me buy a little building downtown. And I came in this neighborhood, Meat Park, and full of butchers. They were only butchers. And I bought a little carriage house, and I decided to make that my showroom and my office. And everybody said, what are you doing there? Who wants to go and work there? It smells so bad, blah, blah, blah. But I did it anyway. And then when you move to a new neighborhood, you meet your neighbors. And I met these two young guys who had a dream. And the dream was to transform this elevated railroad, railway that went from Gansevoort all the way to Javits Center. It was abandoned and to turn it into a park. And it was going to be knocked down. Anyway, those two guys had this dream and they saw my studio and they said, do you mind, do you think you could do a f we, could ha we could do a fundraising in your studio? And that's how my relationship with the neighborhood and with the High Line started. For one thing, we, made the, we turned this neighborhood into a um, historical preservation. Then somehow we turned, convinced, we turned around the High Line and it was very difficult because all the developers wanted the real estate. Those same developers, by, by the way, now are so proud to be on the High Line. The High Line became the number one destination for tu tourists. You are now involved in helping to uh, repair the Ellis Island uh, buildings, is that right? Well, yes. First, I was, uh, I'm on the board of, Ellis, of the foundation of the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island. And the first thing I did was raise money for, to create the museum for <clears throat> the Statue of Liberty. So I got very close to her, Lady Liberty. I didn't want to do it. I really didn't want to. I said, if I go on another board, my husband would be so upset. And then he read my book, The Man Who Wanted to Get Me. And in my book, he read that my mother had written me a note saying, God saved me so that I can give you life. By giving you life, you gave me my life back. You are therefore my torch of freedom. So he underlined that and he said, you see, you gotta come and help the Statue of Liberty. 